guys, it's Jack Reddit. Today I will show you how to restore DM functions on T2 Ultra Dual or any other Sony other smartphone with Sony logo. <laughs> or I can say Sony any smartphone uh, come from Sony. So first we need PR Creator. Download it. I will give you a link for everything I will use on this video. So first select your FTF file. Select your zip file, super su zip file, so here is t 2 ultra log recovery, I have edited and now I will see click on create. This tab will not restore the item keys, this will only restore the item function which you have lost after without knowing and you have unlocked unlock a bootloader by mistake or anything, just do it. Sorry I have mistakenly. Super SU zip here it is and then recovery I will create click on create oh, okay and after is it will be complete I will I am pausing this view right now after I will complete this process then I will resume there now you will see that PF creator has created the zip file of it is saying uh, finished and now close PRF creator and go to PRF creator folder and you will see flashable zip pre rooted file will <coughs> file and then copy this file and paste in your SD card. It is pasting <coughs> and while it is pasting go to your google and search for drm keys restore here it is Open that three series actors and blah 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 and <coughs> download go to and download lollipop person download it three three two point nineteen KB one nine KB <coughs> I've already downloaded and place it in my SD card. As you can see here, DRM function restore for XPR Lollipop V2. Now, as this is installing, <coughs> copying file. In SD card, you have to install a fresh firmware in your phone. First, you have to before <coughs> you have to install a fresh firmware. Before installing a firmware, you have to unlock your bootloader if you have unlocked it before. Just click on bootloader unlocked, press volume down key and installed sorry unlock your bootloader. I have already unlocked it and I am going to flash fresh file in my T2 Ultra. If you have another divide of Xperia just installed the <coughs> uh, version you want to 
use and DRM keys. I want to use 470 version because this version has a kernel which includes recovery. I will download it a kernel. After installing this, I will download a kernel from xdeb and install it by flash tool. I will show you that. Installed this free flash file <coughs> after going to while it's preparing I will pause the video now switch off your phone and insert your data cable on your laptop or PC as you can see here it show me to connect my phone I will connect then I will back So as you can see the flashing is started and installing a flash file in my T2 Ultra. <coughs> you can see here flashing in my T2 Ultra. After it will take about 2, 3 or 5 minutes. After flashing I will back and tell you next step. So uh, flash flashing is completed and you can see device connected in flash food flash food unplug start a phone flashing finished so another step it is unplug your device then power it on um, for power uh, powering on about it will take about two minutes or three minutes or anything like that five or six it can maybe um, just wait and watch after getting in the home just uh, switch off your device then I will show you next step so uh, my device has on is on now now it's showing for setup good but I'm not going to set up it and <coughs> so now you have two options for installing the recovery for uh, set up all this and go to your home go to your home and install king root application download from Chrome or anything and root it then download nuts dual recovery for locked bootloader devices and then installed it by like this um, this is for T2 Ultra only log bootloader install install dot bat click on then one it will ask you for anything and then allow you a root permission that it will install recovery in your phone but another steps download a kernel download a kernel which have recovery and install it by fast boot I will install my kernel with Flashboot. Click on flash mode, flash mode, and click on fast food mode. Okay. Wait. Uh, first connecting. Wait. I will connect back after connecting my T2 Ultra in fast food. As you can see, I have connected my devices uh, in fast food mode. T2 Ultra. It is connected in fast food. For connecting in fast food, just press volume up key before usb cable then add usb insert usb cable and leave it then you will connect to pin fast boot mode then press flash and fast boot mode click ok select kernel to flash i have img file so i am clicking on img here it is 
dual recovery D5322. Before installing, be sure that this recovery and kernel only for your device. So installing, flashing. Before uh, rebooting into system, check whether your recovery has installed OK. Sending boot OK, OK, OK. So everything will be OK now before moving into system. OK. Now our phone has a recovery. Now, next step. <coughs> Open your device. After you watch our green light here, press volume up and down. Press volume up and down, like I'm doing. You will go to TV in recovery. Then click on wipe. Advanced wipe. Dalvi cache system cache data enter internal memory then swipe go to back home then install external SD card and go to flashable dip which we have created by PRF creator and click on this and install it it will take about 4 to um, not more than two minutes while it is installing I'm pausing the video after install I will like tell you next step as you can see it is showing me successful now go to home and install DRM function restore zip it will say Mounting, deleting unnecessary files, installing, installed and update partition details. Now reboot to your system. It will take after rebooting your phone will be fully working condition and it will on <coughs> DRM key restore DRM function restored these steps don't re these steps didn't restore DRM keys it's just re restore DRM function like Bravia engine to an exterior reality exterior super vivid mode um, clear audio many more things so while it is uh, switch on I will go pause the video show you next step Add this no step after starting my mobile I will show you the photos of my DRM function are working or not as you can see my phone is going to restart now now it will start and I will set up regular things I will to English done So here our function will work. We we'll show you. Wait. <coughs> Display. As you can see, Bravia engine on. I wish on switching off. As you can see here, the Bravia engine is off right now. And you will see here the photos. How should it looks like now? Let me you can see how it is looking. Now I will switch Bravia engine on display Bravia engine on. Now I will show you 
nail pick. It is getting clear because of DRM function restored and it is working. As you can see other photo you will see first now it will yeah the end function is working now yeah it is working as you can see here the blue goes to and I will just switch it off and show you what was the real image it, it is a real image now switch it on now it will go yeah so it is working now <coughs> this step before doing all this step I'm telling you I'm not responsible for any brick devices but I wish it is not mean that your device could gonna brick or something but be sure that don't come to me I will laugh at you so if you have any problem while doing this just comment down below I will try to solve your problem Thank you for watching, like my video, share my video, subscribe to my channel and bye, have a nice day.